Hi, I'm Iman, and today I'm going to be showing you my beauty secrets, both skincare and everyday glam. First up is beauty from within. So I use everyday turmeric and ginger elixir, but I like to mix it with, you know, a bit of water. So I mix it with what my favorite water, Fiji. A beauty secret that I've used since I was 12 years old, it's from Somalia. We are taught from young age that the skin you take care of in your 20s is the one you're going to inherit in your 60s and 70s. And this served me well, really. Try it at home. It's an easy DIY because it's everything that you can find it and it's cost effective. So I start with two tablespoons of flour and three tablespoons of milk. And next is the magic. It's one teaspoon of turmeric powder and then a splash of honey. So here it is, I mixed it all. And you want this consistency, you see? So before we start with the mask, I'm gonna put a head wrap on. So here it is, I put my headband and you see it is black because it can stay turmeric. So now it's all mixed and I'm gonna put it on my face and I really want you to see how it looks. I've been doing this mask since I was 12. I leave this for like 20 to 30 minutes. So next step is the eyes. I'm usually extra, extra vigilant about what I put under there and everything has to be hydrated. So here it is, the Peter Thomas Ralph 24 carat patch. And it's really hydrating. When it comes to taking it off, I wash it and use a black or a dark, like a navy washcloth. And now I'm gonna show you my skincare. The first step. Now I swear by this, SK2 Essence. It really just gives you a fresh canvas. So the next thing I put is this serum from Biology. When I was in my 20s and I was modeling, you do shows and you're changing makeup constantly and wearing heavy, heavy makeup all day. And then of course, there's the nightlife. You go out, you're wearing makeup, you don't take your makeup off, you go to sleep and you're 20 and you wake up and wash your face and go back to work and you can get away with it. And then 30s come, and girls, it's all over. You have to take care of your skin. At whatever age you are, do not strip the natural oil that's on your skin. And you have to learn what skincare works for you. So, you know, like, as I said, you know, you're working uh, uh, all day and then you go home and have a disco nap and put on your makeup again and go out to Studio 54 all night. At that time, I really started developing really under eye bags. And I remember a very famous makeup artist, Way Bandy, may he rest in peace, he was a genius, actually introduced me to Preparation H to put it under my eyes. Well, let me tell you, yes, it got rid of the puffiness, but also it dried my, under my eyes. So I never used it again, but I will always remember him for that. So next thing is the eye cream. Really, really, you need that much. You see, I mix it and just tap. There are little people a little bit aggressive with their skin. I'll be honest, I haven't had any Botox on my face. Not that I'm against it, but look at it. I mean, I have a high forehead and I don't have any wrinkles because I'm very gentle with my skin. So I believe in moisturizer. So this is the right product for me. They call it Black Diamond for a reason, because it really works. And I do, and again, like not much. And the final step is Dennis Gross's uh, spritz. It's a vitamin C and I find it really perfect. You know, I have a, a 40 year old daughter and I have a 20 year old daughter and I have both instilled in them to take care of their skin. There are no two way about it. I find now a lot of young girls are getting surgery very young and it is really people haven't spent time to take care of their skin and that self-care idea. But do they listen to it? The 40 year old? Yes. The 20 year old? No. <laughs> so 
but it's very, very important skincare, 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 because I say it is really an investment in yourself and you will see the results as the years go by. It's makeup time. I created Iman Cosmetics in 1994 and it's still around. I wanted to create a brand, a new brand for women with skin of color. I was not interested in the origins of where you're from, but your skin too. So that is why really the brand was created. At that time, it didn't exist. Thank God now there are a lot of brands who are doing that. So I swear by this. It's a concealing foundation. So I use these two colors. Let's start with uh, the lighter one, which is Earth 2. I just put it in my actually hand. I like the Kevin Aquan brush. The whole impetus of creating Iman Cosmetics actually started, the seed was planted in my head. When I started in 1975 and my first job was for American Vogue. And there was a makeup artist uh, on set. He said, did you bring your own foundation? I had no idea what he was talking about. So I said, no. So he proceeded to mix some products. And I was looking at what he was doing because I was trying to learn on the job. He put actually some powder that was eyeshadow that was brown, mixed it with some moisturizer and it started proceeding to put it on my face. And I looked at the mirror when he was finished. I looked gray. What happened for me, the gods of beauty were looking after me because the pictures were in black and white. And black and white photographs hide multitude of sins. So I wasn't gonna rely upon a, a, a makeup artist who didn't know how to do my skin tone. You know, as a model, my currency is my image. You go to a photo shoot and your pictures come out bad. Nobody says the lighting was terrible because the photographer didn't know how to light a black girl. What do they say? Oh, we need another model. She's not good. So that wasn't gonna to happen to me. So what I did was that I really created something that I would have in my bag all the time when I was working for print and for runway. You know, it's not only also makeup, let's face it, there was also the hair issue. All the stuff that all the Caucasian models were able to do to transform themselves was not there for us. I mean, I started talking and finding black hairdressers so that I, whenever I would be booked for a job, I would try to convince the editor to get this uh, black hairdresser for me, right? There was this uh, hairdresser called Ellen Labar. She started doing hair extensions. And the first person she tried on was me. And years later, when the new girls came into the scene, Naomi Campbell and Tyra Banks, they both asked me, where do you have your hair done? And I sent them to Ellen Labar. So the next one is the darker shade. So do you see how just touch darker it is? just around my cheekbone. Not on the top of the cheekbone, but just under the cheekbone. And blend, blend, blend. Then also, also on the forehead, right? So I really use the concealer of Kevin Aquan. I've known Kevin Aquan like when he started. The one of the ways that he would really do your makeup is lying down on the floor. And I asked him one day, why do you do that? He said, well, gravity, darling, gravity. It always looks better everything when you're lying down. <laughs> and I just put it, do you see? I put it and not near my eye because I don't need it there. I need it where the dark circle is. So this is a trick I learned from Kevin Aquan. Before you put powder, you take a tissue and separate it. So you need really a thin tissue, right? You just pat your skin. What you're taking off is just the excess oil from the foundation it makes you use less powder. So this is the trick of all tricks. This has been with me probably two years. That's how little I use it. You see that? And then I take a sponge. And that's as much powder as I use on my face. And then I like to use Iman Contour Trio. So I just use that, the darker one, just there. See how already you see it? is defined. Do you know when I created Iman Cosmetics, there were no bronzers for women of, with skin of color. So they said, why, do you, why does a black girl need a bronzer? I said, every girl needs a bronzer because it just warms the skin. I use it also 
in my eyes and I would do it, you know, just to give it a base. The next step for me, and it works magic, it's called Afterglow. Now it has three colors in there, just like the sun. And I just swirl it around and there. On the cheeks, you know, like the, your apple cheeks. And now I'm ready for eyeshadow. I like um, a smoky eyeshadow. And I have found finally one compact that I can say that I actually use all the colors. And that is Makeup by Mario. The second before it gets too dark is the one I like. I personally gravitate towards nudes. Uh, you know, all kinds of nudes, you know, like from the lightest to the darkest. You have to pay me <laughs> to be wearing bright eye makeup. I also discovered through a makeup artist, Lady Gaga's House Labs. This is a black pencil I love because it really is a streak free. It's mistake proof. And then, so I like to use an angle, you know, thin, thin brush so that it just gets under the eye and blends it. I also blend the top because you wanted everything to be not a harsh line. Now, I know a great line, it looks great, but at a certain age, it does not. And finally, the mascara. I like the Maestro Armani. George Armani to you. Okay, and finally the brows. I use Iman Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil. It's called the Blackest Brown. I like to finish it here. That's the thing. You know, I'm just following my natural eyebrow. And then on the other side, see it's a light at the end. I had an accident years ago in a cab in New York. I believe it was like 1987. And the uh, a drunk driver hit the cab and my face went through the partition. So I ducked at the last minute, so I hid there. And I had to have the surgery on my eye. Thank God my eye was saved. But I have a thin cut there, so hair doesn't grow on it. So I usually just fill it with the eyebrow pencil, right there. Here's the final touch. I use Iman Cosmetics uh, Espresso, it's called Zelle Pencil. After that, I just take my favorite product is uh, Laneige. It's a lip sleeping mask, but I use it every day. And last but not least, Love Memoir, my new fragrance in celebration of my love to my husband, David Bowie. And it is also a celebration of communal love. But obviously this was really created for the memories that I have shared with my husband. So here it is, I always say, you're not fully dressed without a perfume. Uh, I like to spritz and then walk into it. And voila, I'm ready to face the world. Bye.